Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is about the field tree browser view in Relativity. When we log into Relativity, we are by default taken to our folders browser. And this folders browser is the graphical representation of the storage of our documents, how our documents are organized. If we want to see our tagging and coding, we navigate to the field tree browser, which is this little shopping tag icon here at the top. This will only be found in the documents tab. So you can see here our view changes. We have what you see here are fields and choices. So this is your work product. This is your coding and tagging. And you'll also see we have some search term results. We have a classification index, conceptual index, and some structured analytics results as well. Um, these are great tools to see which subsets of documents were included in our active learning, what documents are included in our witness binders. We can make witness issue binders. And we can see the results of our search term reports here, which are automatically populated when we have terms. And we can narrow down to specific documents that are associated with each individual term. This works just like adding a filter in your document table um, where you might search for contract in this text box. You can also do the same thing by adding, um, by going to the field tree view, opening up your STR terms and navigating to contract. Any additional um, filters and um, searches that you may want to make will be treated as an and condition. So if we did a DT search in our search panel, or if we added um, another filter with another field here at our document list or the same kind of filtering or searching from our search panel, that's going to search these new conditions within that subset for the documents that you've selected using the field tree view. All of the other features are the same as in your document list. Again, the searching, the filtering, uh, mass editing, export to PDF, dashboards, sampling, and so forth. One additional feature that we get is by right-clicking on our choice, we can select email link or copy link to clipboard. What this does is it generates a link that you can either paste into an email or it makes a new email that you can um, just uh, type in your recipient and this recipient should be someone with a relativity login this url will take you to the relativity login page and then it will open up in the field tree view for you to uh, for the recipient to um, be taken directly to this subset of documents likewise our saved searches work and the search conditions itself will be pointing to the filter that you've made using the field tree. So any field that is a multi-choice or single choice field can be added to this view. You just need to set it in the field properties under your fields tab. Automatically, certain fields are created, like when you run a search term report the results will be populated in your search term field and automatically it will be added to your field tree view. Additionally, if you're running classification, you wanted to see your searchable set for your analytics or the same for your concept analytics and your structured analytics. Those are also automatic fields that are created when you run each of those different processes in the database. So this is a great QC tool. You can take a look at documents that were included or if any were excluded, you can go to these searches to, you know, double check the results to maybe review this subset of documents if they were, for instance, too large to be um, included in the structured analytics set. You can just manually click through the documents that you need to review that were excluded from that set. So again, here's the field tree in action. I want to make a witness binder. 
I navigate to anything tagged with Susan Bailey. And I wanted to just do a quick check for anything tagged EPMI. You can see here that my search conditions are now added to the filter. So this is Bailey, Susan, and any term, any document that has the term EPMI. And here's my little subset that I can review. If I just wanted to print everything to PDF, I can click the Print Save as PDF and again, do my export directly from this view um, with our little graphical representation of our tagging and coding. Thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.